Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also, welcome to another gift card giving day. Today is a day that my team and I um, <clears throat> share a few gift card holder ideas with you. Um, so, I'm going to show you what I'm using for mine. I am using the spooky tags, and I'm using this uh, cutie patootie little bat. And then I use this my bat rosette dies, and I did, and this is the one. The bigger one has the bats on it, and the smaller one has the little polka dot holes on it. So I use both of these, um, and then I use my favorite, which are back in stock. Thank God, because I've been wanting to use this so bad, but I didn't because we didn't have any. <laughs> so thank God it's back in stock. These are my stitched belly band dies. Um, this coordinates perfectly with my stitched treat sleeve die holder. Um, these are also back in stock. And then these also come with um, a set of stamps called Belly Band Sentiments and they fit, all the sentiments fit perfectly in these. These are just little layers. This layer, this will layer on top of that and you can put it there with the sentiment. Um, but I'm not using that today. I am actually going to be using one of the little um, rosettes that I had actually, I'm not sure if you remember, but during the sneak peek week, I showed you this. This is one that I had made already. So I wanted to go ahead and use this for uh, the embellishment for my little gift card holder. So we are gonna go ahead and just put our little treat. This is the, um, which one is this one? The stitched treat sleeve die. So we're gonna go ahead and just put this together really quickly here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oops, I don't like that one. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so we're just going to put this together really fast here. And let me go ahead. And there's, there are, there, <laughs> there are some, what do you call it? There are some embossing lines there for you to fold it. And then this one right here as well. Now you could either put this on the inside and just close it all up like that or you could go ahead and just glue it down on the side and then put this part on the outer side like that. But this time we're just going to keep it all on the inside. So let me go ahead. I'm going to use some tape today just to make this go by a little quicker. So I'm going to use this little tube tape here. A little Too Faced tape. I don't even know what the proper term for this one is called. But this is one we're going to use for this. Like I said, only so we can make this video go. It's going to be a super quick video for you today. Go ahead and put that on there. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. And I love this paper. I'm using this paper by Paper Phenomenon called All Hollows Eve. Oh my goodness. It's probably next to one of those, the last Teresa Collins Halloween paper that she had came out with a while ago. This is my second favorite. Oh my goodness. I love this paper so much. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to go ahead and add the little belly band. So this has some little embossed lines here and here, okay. And then it has a little cut line here and here and that just kind of just crisscrosses into each other like so. So this way we could go ahead and just easily just slide this on like that. Oh, my hands are very slippery right now. There we go. Okay, and then, so I want to make sure, I want to do it where this could tuck in the little rosette die like so. But let me grab the little gift card that I'm putting in here. Let's see, where did I put it? So we're going to go ahead and just put this little Starbucks gift card in here, just like so. Okay, and then let me go ahead and just, we are going to go ahead and just hot glue gun this on here because I just want to make sure this does not come off. Go ahead and just, 
You know what I should do? Let me grab another glue and kind of push this through here. There we go. Okie dokie. And then this is just going to go on here like so. Just like that. So this way you could just tuck this in after you put your little gift card holder in there. And that's it. Isn't that adorable? A super simple gift card holder. Now I have this. So it's nice sometimes to have some embellishments made already. So this way you don't have to worry about putting it all together for your project. This way it could just be you could just hurry up and just get it done, especially if you need something right away. I love the way this came out. I hope you do too. So head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. Um, and that's it. Thank you so very much for stopping by, everybody. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.